Good morning, class 11th. We are talking about the titration calculations for NaOH versus oxalic acid titration. Now, in this particular titration, your NaOH is the strong base. Since it is the strong base, your indicator used will be phenolphthalein. While oxalic acid is the weak acid, the formula for oxalic acid is COOH. COOH. Please don't forget the two water molecules as the water of crystallization. And this is your NaOH. Just in case required, you should know the molar masses of the two. This comes out to be 40 grams per mole. While if you calculate for this, this would come out to be 126 grams per mole. The indicator used is phenolphthalein. For this particular titration, I am advising that you take NaOH solution in the burette. The base is taken in the burette. Uh, you can have a look at the titration video which is on my channel for class 11th to have a better idea as to how to perform the titration. In this particular video, you are going to discuss the calculation part only. So your NaOH solution is in the burette which means your oxalic acid would be in the titration flask plus you would add one to two drops of the indicator which is phenolphthalein and you begin with your titration. Before I move ahead we need to see the equation for this particular titration. You have NaOH plus oxalic acid to give you sodium oxalate and water. In this particular titration, the formula that we use is you have two moles here, you have one mole here. So your ratio comes out to be molarity of the base into volume of the base is equal to molarity of the acid into volume of the acid where moles of the base how many moles of base it is? 2 moles. Whereas moles of the acid is 1 mole. So the ratio is moles of the acid is moles of the base is not in the same ratio. So what we say is the moles of the base are twice as compared to the moles of the acid. So this is your moles of the base. Molarity into volume is the moles. Moles of the base is twice the moles of the acid is the formula to be used. Let's take up an example for this. You have to determine the molarity and the strength of the provided NaOH, which means molarity of the base is to be found. Strength of the base, which is your NaOH, is also to be found. By titrating it against M by 20 oxalic acid, which means Molarity of the acid is 1 by 20 and you are using the oxalic acid titration. Since it is NaOH required, the indicator is bound to be phenolphthalein. So substituting the formula, molarity of the base, volume of the base is equal to 2 times molarity of the acid, volume of the acid or else you can also write it as molarity of the base into volume of the base 1 into 2 into molarity of oxalic acid, volume of oxalic acid. As I just explained, I am using a titration where NaOH is taken in the burette. Which means your titration flask, after adding the indicator and the acid, has oxalic plus the indicator. Both of them, after adding indicator phenolphthalein, it would remain colorless because the indicator phenolphthalein in acidic medium remains colorless. Starting it off, let us assume after the titration, you do get the concordant reading. And this concordant reading, which you get after three titration, would give you the volume of the base, that is NaOH. Substituting this, this is being asked. The volume of the base will be your concordant reading, as I just explained. One remains one. 2 into molarity of oxalic acid is how much? 1 by 20. Volume of oxalic acid would be how much? 
10 or 20 or 25 depending on what is the size of pipette that is provided. So normally in my school you have it as 10. So I am substituting it as 10. From all this I can find out the molarity of the base. This molarity of the base is the molarity of NaOH which would come out to be whatever it comes out please do not round it off and don't forget to put M as the subscript which is the this is this suffix behind it which is for the molarity once you are done with the molarity section you are still left with the strength of NaOH the formula for strength is equal to molarity into molar mass now this is the place where students generally make an error because you do not write molarity of NaOH molar mass of NaOH and you make an error because the strength is for NaOH is asked. Now the molarity of NaOH as we just did was would be your value calculated from here. So the molarity of NaOH is the molarity of the base which you have just calculated and the molar mass of NaOH is equal to 40 as we know. So this is what you get as the strength of NaOH by calculation. Also, if you talk about the units of strength, what is the reported units that you are going to write? It would be, this is molarity. Molarity is equal to moles upon volume in liters. While molar mass is, the mass is equal to grams per moles. 40 is the molar mass of NaOH in grams per mole. So, the unit comes out to be moles, moles gets cancelled. Whatever you get, please report it in grams per liter. After finding your moles of base from the titration, you multiply it by 40 and you get your conclusions and that is your result. At times, in some cases, there is something called as a percentage purity which is also asked. For that, the formula is calculated strength which would be this value divided by given strength which would be in the question. Now how would you know what is the value? Because this given strength would be given to you in the question in the units of grams per liter. So you can easily identify what is the strength given. And also you need to then multiply this value into 100. Whatever is the answer please report it in percentage because strength and strength, the units would both numerator and denominator would be grams per liter. They would get cancelled and your answer reported would be in percentage. Fine. So I think you would not face any problems in doing calculations for your acid-based titrations of class 11th. Do well students. All the best. Good luck.